Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. Well, today is the day we're going to unbox and assemble the Truxus Explorer. We're going to get that all put together and take it for its first spin. Big shout out and thanks to Truxus for sending us this bike so we can test it, review it, and just simply enjoy it on the many, many rides to come. Hey, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so yeah, here we go. Uh, the Truxus Explorer. Got a big hole in the box right here, but everything looks okay in there i kind of peeked in there looked around best i could uh, it looks fine but the first thing we're going to do i did open the lid the other day just to peek inside but you know what i should have done i should have found the battery right away and got that on charge so that's a big battery and we want it to get get charged up and that's going to take a little while so do we see a battery in there it might be installed on the bike sometimes they're loose sometimes they're installed on the bike and I'm going to guess this one is on the bike. It's in there. So, can't do that. Going to have to take this thing out first. There we go. Much easier. Hey, you know, sometimes you want to save your boxes and not destroy them like this because you never know when something's going to be wrong and you have to send it back. That would be rare. Most of the time, bike companies, they don't want you to send these things back. They just have you repair it somewhere at a local bike shop or something. Okay, guys, we closed the garage door because it was getting a little too muggy and warm outside. And, hey, we got this air-conditioned garage to work in. So here is where we are. Let's talk about this Truxus. Now, one of the things I noticed is that, uh, you know, boxes often get damaged, like this big hole that was in this one. Uh, every Almost every box that I get has some kind of damage. And most all of them have some type of hole. So I'm not sure what the shipping companies are doing, but some boxes come in really tore up. And it's a concern because, you know, these these bikes are heavy, they're big, and sometimes they're not packaged real well. Other brands, they, they are packaged better. Uh, this one is packaged okay. Um, you know, I've seen better, but I've seen much worse also. And a quick look at uh, what the bike looks like here, I don't see any damage. So I think I think we're fine, you know, okay, with, uh, with this packaging. I don't, so far I haven't seen anything, uh, but we'll get into it here in a moment and see if there's anything that might be damaged. But... I like that everything is solid. It's all one one piece here, right? I mean, everything's zip tied together. So uh, let's just get in and get this thing unzipped and assembled so we can uh, get out there for a ride. Okay guys, this is where we are so far. Gotten uh, some of the, the packaging off, and I tell you what, I like it. I like it a lot. Look at this color right here. Is that gorgeous or what? I like the deep reds. That's almost like a Christmas red, but, but darker. And it's a little metallic-y looking to it, because it's got not really metallic specks in it, but uh, it just looks nice. Yeah, I like it. Okay, this is a 20 amp hour battery or 960 watt hour and pretty standard battery. Now we just need to find the charger so we can get this on charge. And there are some boxes back here behind the bike. So we'll reach back here. Looks like there's a charger. Now that's kind of different. So this charger was not in a box. It's just in there banging around. 
I don't care for that so much. So uh, not sure why that wouldn't be packaged. Let's see, we have a box here with some goodies in it. I see a tool, I see some pedals and things in there. Let's see if we can find the other half of the charger. We have some documentation floating around. It's a safety manual, it's a page. Avoid reverse charging. Charger is designated indoor use only. Do not incinerate. Store the charger in a cool, dry place. You know, that sort of thing. So we'll take a closer look at that later. And there's a box. Okay, so the charger came out of the box. If I can reach back there and get it. All right. There's our box. Was probably the charger. That was But we're still missing the other half. We gotta, we gotta find this plug, right? So, it's here somewhere, I'm sure. Maybe, or maybe, it's not. Hey, okay. I'm not seeing the charger, guys. So, that's disappointing. Let's make sure it's not in this box with the pedals. So there's pedals. What else we have in here? We have a tool. We have some bike grease. We have a reflector. And a manual. We got another reflector. And we have a wrench. Okay. That's all we have in that box. Yeah, so interesting. Let's get this moved out of the way here and bring it out. Ah, there we go. I see a charger. I see a charger. It's hidden right back there in the corner. Protect that wrench. We might need that wrench. All right, we'll just leave this on the. Gonna leave this on the table. We can get the charger plugged into our little timer outlet thingy here, and. We're going to get it plugged into the battery on the end. And we're going to turn our timer on for about four hours. Four hours would be right there. We got a green light, should turn red. There it goes, it turns red, so now it's charging. There we go. Okay, we have a guard right here, just a plastic guard on the rear axle nut that helps to protect the derailleur during shipping. And it's just jammed on there. There you go, you gotta pull that little plastic tab out. That comes off. Um, but we don't have a derailleur guard on the derailleur. And that's why they included this in order to protect it during shipping. Well, as long as you don't have an accident and wipe out on your bike, it's fine. You don't need to derail your garden. They are nice to have. Okay, now that we got all the packaging off, except for the handlebars, I'll wait and leave that until I get the front tire on. It's always a good idea because things could flop over. This is going to bounce around a little bit. And, uh, you know, we don't want things to get tore up and broken. 
but we'll get the tire installed next and uh, then we'll worry about installing the handlebars so two things down here one you want to remove this piece right here which means just lift up the bike a little bit smack it a little bit with your hand that comes right off that's just there to protect the forks during shipping you can dispose of that and there's a spacer in between the uh, brake pads down there so go ahead and pull that out as well looks something like that now you don't want to touch the brake handles because then the brake pads will collapse and close and then you'll have a hard time getting them open back up again so we'll be careful not to do that next we're going to install the wheel now for a 20 inch tire bike you know i could easily for a 20 inch tire bike i could easily you know reach forward and pick up the bike and bring it and set it down onto the axle bolt here this being a 26 inch it's going to be a little bit of a challenge by yourself this is where some people will take their bike and actually just turn it upside down to install the tire i don't like doing it um yeah I, I just don't like flipping my bikes upside down so we're going to give this a whirl and see if we can do this anyway by ourselves i got long monkey arms so i'm going to reach forward sometimes it's easier to go ahead and remove the nut and the washer give yourself some more space which is what i'm going to do I'm just going to balance it there give myself some more space there you go now that goes on Give myself a little more space on this side as well. It's pretty close. Bam. There we go. Now our front tire is installed. We're going to finger, just uh, finger tighten those for now. Come back in a minute and tighten those up. Now Truxus does give you the tools necessary in order to assemble the bike. So I can, you can use their wrench to tighten down on this axle. Get everything nice and snug. Ah, and don't do that. Ah, whoo! Ah. Learn from my mistakes. Ouch! All right, my wrench slipped off, and when it did, my finger got caught right here on the disc. Could have happened to anyone. Peeled off a big old chunk of skin. Whoo! All right. Can you now patch? what did you do? Can you can you patch me up? Yep. I don't want to bleed all over my video. Dog. See it. It's not bad. Just peel the skin back. It doesn't even hurt. Just need to be cleaned off and a fairly good sized band aid put on it. Yeah. Yeah, leave it open and I'll catch the overspray and hurt. Nope. I can't see. Okay guys, we got the handlebars attached and uh, so let's take a quick look here. So just the first look, uh, again, Tektro hydraulic disc brakes right here. Uh, we have a thumb throttle here on the left side, button pad. We've seen this button pad before. This is the same setup as the Troxus Lynx. So we have the left uh, throttle and the same button pad, I believe, on the Troxus Lynx as we do this one. But over here on the right side, uh, same as the Troxus Lynx, we do have uh, finger shifters and I like finger shifters they're just a you know just a step up above the old SIS shifter so I like that brakes feel good so far and I just uh, I can't wait to get this thing out and take it for a ride nice rubbery handle grips there too a little small I mean little a little thin sometimes you get the ones with the, the the palm rest you know on here and they're just a little bit beefier a little bit thicker but and these are a little thin but they feel good because they're nice and rubbery so no slippage there and they're locking grips as well because they're set screws on here so it locks them in so you don't have to worry about them spinning i like that as well all right they even gave you a wrench big enough to get the pedals on and not all manufacturers do 
Uh, oftentimes uh, they forget that, that this is, takes a little bit bigger of a wrench. But Truxus included it and that's appreciated. However, I like using my own wrench because I assemble so many bikes. Um, I just like having a little bit better tool. This one's a lot longer, so it allows me to get the pedal on there a little tighter. If you look on your pedal, usually there's a right and a left. There it is. We have the left one. And you always put this on where you screw in the pedal towards the front of the bike because one will be reversed from the other side. So since we're here, we're going to spin it towards the front of the bike. And again on this side, and again on this side, we're going to spin towards the front. Okay guys, we got the Troxus Explorer all assembled. It went together nicely, it didn't have any concerns with it at all. We're just charging the battery now, so it's going to take a little while for the battery to charge. You can see the battery's missing because it's over there on the table. And yeah, so we're just uh, patiently waiting for that to get a full charge before I take this out for a first spin. I wanted to give you a quick first look here. Um, yeah, looking nice. Nice uh, Kenda tires, uh, really nice, or uh, good looking uh, shocks there, hydraulic shocks. We got hydraulic Tektro brakes. We got a nice button pad. We've seen the same button pad and thumb throttle on the Truxus Lynx. Uh, display there can't turn it on yet we have uh, finger shifters over here and that's an eight speed which i like it a lot sure do uh, just an amazing color on this bike just beautiful oh my goodness it's beautiful so we've got a nice little rack back here uh got some connection points uh, maybe we can screw some accessories on at some point uh let's see what else can i show you about we got the buffang it is a buffang motor 750 watt 80 newton meters of torque we have what looks like the the brake lights are mounted onto the frame on either side so that's kind of cool and yeah so that's all i'm going to share with you right now until uh until i get a chance to to ride it for a little bit and get familiar with it then we will do a full review but be uh be looking out for those riding videos because i am looking forward to riding this bike it is super super nice Hey, that's it for this video. Until the next one, uh, you guys ride safe.